fruits from the garden, butter his mother made, meager income from grain and seed farming, and any extra work his father could find. Howard was his mother's chief chicken helper, and after his chores were done, he remembered he was free to roam the rocky hillside waging wars with imaginary enemies. He attended the one-room Bethel Elementary School for grades one through eight. After the first grade, he was the only student in his grade until he graduated. He voraciously read all the books in the school library every month. He attended Parish Junior High for ninth grade, followed by Salem High, which was the only one in town then. Every morning, Howard and his older brother, Ralph Jr., would ride into town with their father, who was by then the manager of the Ford Valley Tractor Company. They would be dropped off at 14 and D Streets and walk on to the high school. After graduating in 1950, Howard attended Willamette University. Between working summers at a grain warehouse and his father's generous support, he was able to graduate in four years with a degree in mathematics, continuing on for a fifth year to earn his teaching certificate in 1955. He remembered Dr. Chester Luther with great respect as the one who taught him how to be a teacher. During his time at Willamette, Howard enjoyed managing the football, basketball, and baseball teams, keeping scores and stats. Howard taught mathematics, not math, <laughs> for one year at Ashton High School before being hired by Eastern Oregon State College, who needed a mathematics instructor badly enough to hire him before he had earned a master's degree. During 1956 to 1963, while teaching at EOSC, he completed his master's degree and began to work on a PhD through a National Science Foundation program at the University of Illinois. While there, he met Virginia Latchaw, also studying through the NSF program. They married in August 1960. Howard began teaching at Oregon State University in 1963 and taught mathematics in the science education department for 30 years, retiring in 1993. After finishing his PhD, he came on as an associate professor, later earning a full professorship, serving as associate chair and head advisor for 10 years, and then lower division head until retirement. He advised numerous students over the years, taking great delight in his international students. During the 1972-73 sabbatical, he chaired the mathematics department at Garoka's Teacher College in Papua New Guinea through UNESCO. On a return trip to Garoka in 2008, he was remembered and celebrated by staff now teaching him. Following retirement from OSU, Howard worked for Hewlett Packard, training teachers across the nation to use the new HP handheld graphing calculator in their classroom. He and Virginia enjoyed many trips to it in those years, several through Elder Hostel. Howard was a lifelong learner. He was a PBS addict, an avid Democrat, and a strong proponent of education. He was also a man of the soil all of his life, cultivating a vegetable garden, fruit trees, and flowers, beautiful dahlias wherever he lived. His grandkids particularly loved his fruit weather. He enjoyed having citrus trees in his yard when he and Virginia lived as snowbirds for some years in Cathedral City. Homely marmalade became a passion then. I was a particular fan of the boxes of grapefruits that we would get as well. Howard and Virginia were longtime members of the First United Methodist Church of Corvallis. They were active for many years in various capacities, including the 4F group, with whom they enjoyed pinnacle, camping, and other outings. Howard and Virginia, after Virginia's death, Howard lived the last part of his life at the Corvallis Ferry Place. He considered it his home and was warmly supported with the help of Evergreen Hospice through the end of his battle with the most of her favorites. 